good people at their core want to make a difference. They want to work on big problems, hard problems, meaningful problems. Ruth was describing her staff, but the description fits her as well. I grew up as an engineer in a hardcore techie environment. I spent 20 years at Sandia National Laboratory. Uh, I had the opportunity uh, to be an engineer designing systems for use by other engineers. Uh, it was a wonderful world. She rose into several leadership positions at Sandia. During her tenure, she achieved her PhD in electrical engineering at Stanford University, taught at the University of New Mexico, and authored several books. Her pioneering work led to her election into the National Academy of Engineering in 2002. The honor was a nod to her work at Sandia, as well as the work that followed it. She joined the Central Intelligence Agency in 1995 as the Deputy Director of Science and Technology. CIA Director George Tenet praised Dr. David as an outstanding senior manager, saying that her three years at the CIA were nothing short of extraordinary. Ruth's work in science and technology has gone far beyond her CIA career. In 2004, she was recognized for helping the CIA create InQtel, a bridge between private sector innovation and the intelligence community. For over 11 years now, Dr. David's concept has brought more than 150 innovative companies to address some of the nation's toughest challenges. Ruth's vision and expertise prompted a nonprofit company to ask her to lead their team of analysts. She immediately steered them into a collective focus on Homeland Security. Dr. David's forward thinking about Homeland Security helped the nation recover after its security was breached in late 2001. In 2002, she was appointed by the President of the United States to serve on the Homeland Security Advisory Council, a position she still holds today. In 2004, that galvanized her to think farther into other areas where the nation faced systemic problems. How do you even frame problems when nobody owns the whole problem? How do you think about uh, distributed governance systems or enterprises and make sure all of the pieces mesh. Uh, there's, a, there's a fundamental um, uh, concept called systems thinking that we're working very hard to advance that I believe will provide some tools to help us deal with those issues. Ruth's vision for systems thinking fostered an educational program that grew to become the Applied Systems Thinking Institute, or ASSIST, which opened its doors in 2007. We're looking at this concept as a way to bring rigor and discipline, competence to a way of thinking about problems, a way of framing problems. Ruth's work to help the nation create better solutions goes beyond her work as a president and chief executive officer. Uh, extracurricular activities serve on a number of different kinds of advisory boards and panels for various parts of the government, and inevitably, they're struggling with uh, the forces of globalization and what that has meant to our governmental institutions for us as a nation uh, are going to require us to integrate our own efforts in ways that we have not in the past.